the odds of a white Christmas have been slashed to just 2-1 as temperatures plummet to minus 11 C now Britain is plunged into a big autumn freeze. Experts predict this will be the coldest winter for five years as air from the North Pole brings 11 C freezes and widespread snow, after a balmy Halloween. More than 100 gritters hit roads in the north as the coldest temperatures of autumn saw 3.5 C chills in Oxfordshire and 5 C in northern Scotland. But trick-or-treaters will enjoy Halloween highs up to a balmy 15 C for many, 5 C warmer than usual, amid mainly dry and mild evening conditions. The weather outlook forecaster Brian Gaze said, it's good weather for broomsticks. October is verging on the warmest for 358 years, with an average temperature of 12.9 C, 2.2 C above normal, in central England, Met Office figures show. But Scotland faces snow on higher ground from Friday. Extended periods of Arctic winds are forecast to deliver Britain's coldest winter since the bitter 2012-13 freeze, said the weather company. Widespread snow ice and travel mayhem are expected. Ladbrokes cut white Christmas odds to 2-1 in Glasgow, 3-1 in Newcastle, 5-1 in Manchester, and 6-1 in London. Ladbrokes spokesperson Nicola Jetty said, We've had a flurry of festive bets, triggered by the coldest night of autumn and a cold winter forecast. After chilly stints in a mixed November, December and January are both forecast to be colder than normal said the weather company, founded in 1982. More polar air than usual will flow to Britain this winter due to Atlantic pressure patterns sending jet stream winds up to the Arctic and then south to the UK, the experts said. Widespread snow and ice are a much higher threat than in recent mild winters, said AccuWeather, the world's second biggest commercial forecaster, which has annual turnover around $100 million. All parts of Britain, including London, face being hit, the weatherman said. The weather company chief meteorologist Todd Crawford said, We expect the coldest winter in the UK since 2012-13. We expect extended spells with a ridge of pressure in the North Atlantic, especially in early winter. This forces the jet stream up to the Arctic and back down into Europe releasing Arctic high pressure from near the pole directly into northern Europe, with colder than normal temperatures. Lows are set to fall below 10 C this winter in the north, with the south also suffering shivers well below freezing, said AccuWeather. Travel chaos is expected on road and rail plus at airports. The elderly and ill face health impacts. The Met Office month ahead forecast predicted a rather cold early November followed by below average temperatures, especially in the south, at times from mid-month. Brits face a shock after four mild winters in a row, which had frequent balmy westerly breezes. Recent warm winters came after 2012-13's biting winter had big freezes in December and January, as temperatures plunged to 14 C near London. Snow and ice caused repeated chaos on roads and railways, deaths due to cold weather soared to around 300 a day and England and Scotland were colder than the closest human settlement to the North Pole. Government health warnings for cold weather lasted almost a month in total, with 13 days of alerts in the run-up to Christmas and a 15-day stretch from January 12. Winter 2012-13 was 0.4 C colder than average at 3.3 C UK wide, and chills continued until the coldest Easter Sunday ever recorded, which plunged to 12.5 C at Bremer, Aberdeenshire. Earlier winters saw December 2010's big freeze, which hit 21.3 C at Altnera, Highland, Scotland and 2009-10's whiteout with snow chaos for weeks for many parts. AccuWeather senior meteorologist Alan Ruppert said, snow and ice will be a much higher threat this winter, and could affect London. There is a higher than normal potential for temperatures below 10 C further north, and also cold temperatures further south. Met Office forecaster Chris Page said, Dustings of snowfall could be seen on Scotland's peaks from Friday and during the weekend. 
a Met Office forecaster said, blustery showers will perhaps be wintry over northern hills, then remaining rather cold through the early November with the risk of more widespread overnight frost. Towards mid-November the weather will probably remain mainly settled, particularly across the south. Temperatures may be slightly colder than normal in any prolonged settled spells.